Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doggerty Dozen, and this is a day in the life of a mom to 12 kids. But first, coffee. I'm not done my hair yet. It's just one of those days, but we're gonna do it. We can do it, let's go. We got the teenagers to school. We're trying to get the little kids out the door. I'm trying to find Zoe's coat, which I thought was in her room. Where's Zoe's coat? Oh my gosh, okay. Zoe. It's right here. All right. I'm just going to get these rooms cleaned up today. Um, yeah. size and he has a full bed and he had a twin size comforter because Jason's is a twin. Somehow they're comforters. Just home today because he has a doctor's appointment. <laughs> Did my hair real quick, just straightened it. Let's check this room, not too bad. Why am I so
just resin. Girls room All right, Jordan's homesick today. Thankfully, Josh is off today for his doctor's appointment. Uh, I'm going to drop off Zoe and Bodie to school after I get some more coffee because they missed their bus.
Okay. You all right, eh? Come on, Bowitz. Let's go. It snowed. This is our first, like, real snow this year. This is like a layer of ice on the sidewalk and driveway. Um, I gotta remember to call to get that dumpster taken away. We had new windows put in, and that dumpster is full of our old windows. Alright. Drop kids off, pick kids up. Okay. I got Zoe and Bodie dropped off to school. I called Jordan school and let him know, let them know that he's sick. I'm on my way to go pick up Alex because he has an orthodontist appointment. This is, this is every day. This is like the chaos of every day. Um, we have appointments all afternoon for two of my kids. It's gonna be a busy day. It's gonna be a Duncan day because we also have horseback riding tonight, wrestling, Nordic skiing, track, and Odyssey of the Mind. braces adjusted and I'm gonna sit in the van and make some phone calls. All right we are home. I'm gonna get all the laundry out um, because the doctor's office is right by the laundromat. So whenever we have a doctor's appointment I like multitask and go to the laundromat too since it's right there. And then I'll keep cleaning. All right, this is Bree's birthday present I got yesterday. I got a like Get all her birthday stuff organized. Okay, Alex is hanging out with Harley. I've got a few minutes between appointments. I'm gonna sanitize the house real quick. Let's go.
Oh shoot, there's more laundry in here. Light switch, door knob. Okay, I am gonna get dinner going in the crock pot. Uh, someone sent me this book. Thank you if it was you. It did not come with a name, so I don't know who it was. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make this. The best Thanksgiving turkey breast you'll ever eat. It looks pretty simple. We're just gonna, like I said, throw the oh, bacon. How much bacon do I need? Hmm. Oh, I have to grab the bacon. Uh, I need, okay, oh God. Oh, I gotta get onions. All right, how many times am I? I'm five, five zine. Five zine this recipe. I don't know what the term is for that. So I need, I'll do 10 onions. I gotta find the carrots. I've gotta do 10 celery stalks. Oh, by the way, I am uh, making a huge batch of this because sometimes I like plan ahead. I know, right? Occasionally I do that. And I'm like doubling what I would make for my family because I'm gonna repurpose this for Saturday night's dinner and make like a turkey version of a shepherd's pie. So that's why I'm making a huge, huge, huge batch of this. Um, this will not, like we will not eat all of this tonight, but I'm gonna repurpose it, you'll see. Anyways, I gotta get, I got the thyme, I got the salt, I got the pepper, I got the celery, I gotta go grab the bacon, I've got the turkey out, and when do I put the Wondra in? Okay, the Wondra doesn't go in until the end, okay. Um, this recipe called for bone in turkey breast, but I could not find that. So I have the boneless turkey breast. Yeah. All right, let me go grab the bacon and find the carrots. chicken stock do I need? One cup, so five cups. So there are four cups in this. So I need one of these and then one cup from this. Ish. We'll see. We'll see how much it covers. So I'm going to arrange all the vegetables in the bottom of the crock pot. This is the onions too. Uh, yeah, arrange. Okay, 
I'm using maybe I can find it. Where did it go? Ah. I get these on Amazon. Uh, they basically make it so I don't have to clean this giant crock pot at the end of the night. And I take this and I put it in the fridge and like I just, this is what I put the leftovers in the fridge in. I love it! This is my last one though, so I gotta order more. are all the carrots I have. So, I'm hoping for more. Like I smell like coffee? Well, thank you. Oh, it smells like coffee right now. Oh, it smells like my coffee. Yeah. I can find my sunflowers. Where's my favorite knife? too far, far because if you know where it is, I don't want to like tear apart things. I don't know if it came from the wrong side. Why am I looking at your horse's butt? <laughs> okay, but I printed out the paperwork. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten stalks of celery. Josh, this recipe is called the best Thanksgiving turkey breast you'll ever eat. You can't find it. I feel like I saw we're looking for a random piece of paperwork. You know, the one that you've seen a zillion times when you don't need it. I feel like it's in that pile of the kids' physicals. So speaking of which, I need Harley's physical for her preschool. Wherever that random pile went, you see, we had the playroom and the entryway getting painted, and then we had new windows getting put in. And everything that was in a specific spot got moved to a different spot, and now I don't know where. I don't know where anything is. All right, onions. Did you look through the before we got organized. <laughs> yeah. My brain sees it in the unorganized chaos. Then we organize, I don't know where it is. This must be it. Yes. Okay. Perfect, thank you. And then yeah, social securities, do we have birth certificates? Yeah, they're right here. Perfect. 
kita sampai dengan ini. Haleluya. And if you find Harley. Okay, so I got Jordan a 310 doctor's appointment. Oh, I told you that. Um, here it is. And we've got wrestling, Nordic track, horseback riding. Do we have Odyssey of the Mind tonight? I'm taking you to the doctor's at 3 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Do you want banana bread or something else? Why don't I get it so you're not like touching everything, no offense. Something else. Okay, what would you like? Okay, do you want me to like make a big thing of it or like a little Velveeta cup of it? A big You took today off. Oh. What did I do? I don't know. How's your appointment? It's good. Okay. Really good. I'm healthy. You're healthy. Good blood Everything pressure. Is normal. Nice. What's your secret? Or is it just the medicines helping? It's medicine. Oh. She's so. She's awesome. By the way, my doctor has six kids. Yeah. So, yeah. She gets it. I'm making my eyes water. Look, she's so accommodating. Yeah. <laughs> I need to switch to her. She has to talk to me like I'm a child. <clears throat> I, I'm not, I, I don't say that to be funny, but I get so anxious about doctors. Yeah. She, she like, is amazing. But I could never go to another doctor besides her. Way overdue for doctors. Yes. You know what? I was speaking of doctors. Hmm. I need to go to the eye doctors. You know, the last time I had an eye and uh, my eyes looked at, not I was in this house. I was, I was gonna say not in this I was house. Twenty eight. This <laughs> last last eye exam that I had. Oh my gosh. That reminds me. When the optical shop calls me back, I gotta get Nevaeh's glasses script. Yeah, because we need to get a little brush order because she needs them for something. And Bree needs an extra pair. Oh, we've lost Nevea and Bree's glasses. Nevea, or no, Bree has gone through 12 pairs of glasses in three years. Ew, this one's yucky.
What? My eyes are watering so oh, bad. Oh, don't cry, honey. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oops. So they're supposed to be quartered. Oh. I'm going to dice them. today for one of our kids. Yes, the season. to the laundromat and take Jordan to the doctor. Okay, it doesn't say to cut the bacon, so. Oh, I'm gonna need more bacon. I need 20 pieces of bacon. Looks. A 
I'm excited. Right, and add in the turkey breast. These are going to cook on high for four hours. So that will take us to four o'clock. And then you add the laundry and you let it thicken up after you take out the turkey. It might take a little longer because, bless you, there's so many of them. It takes like longer to cook. doesn't say to put anything on the turkey breast. These are actually honey brine, so I don't think I need to put anything else on. What's up, honey? What's up? It smells like onions. Your blanket smells better, I bet. We're gonna cook this on high for four hours. That's so funny, please don't lean on that. I'll get it. Thank you. Yeah, 
Alrighty. I gotta get going. I gotta go drop Alex off, pick up my and Sean, and have some more appointments. Okay. I gotta drop Alex off at school, pick up my and Sean. These are mine. What? These are mine. <laughs> Talking about. I'm just stress eating some m and I did that last night. <laughs> you learned that from me. <laughs> okay, we are back from our appointments and I'm going to check on this turkey. It smells good. Ooh. Um, I was not home for long. <laughs> Now I gotta run. Um, I got back in time so I could make it to the CSC meeting today. 11 of our 12 kids have an IEP, an individualized education plan, and those require routine CSC meetings. Speaking of routine appointments, we spent the afternoon at routine appointments for our kinship kiddos. Um, it's mostly just it's just like these routine monthly appointments we have to do where basically they're just checking up on them and making sure that they are safe and healthy and happy. It's not their favorite appointments of the month, but as I tell them, it's just standard so that any kid who's affected by the system is being maintained and looked after and held accountable that they are safe. So those meetings are done. Now I'm headed to Deshaun's CSE meeting. It is two o'clock. Josh is at home. When I get back, I gotta take Jordan to his doctor's appointment. Okay, <laughs> meeting over. Oh wait, I still have my name tag on. I gotta load up all of the uh, laundry for the laundromat. James is at the school. Okay, I'm taking Jordan to the doctor. All right, I'm gonna throw these clothes in the laundromat real quick. One, two, three, four of the industrial loads, which are about four loads each. And then I've got two regular size loads. Oh, I gotta go load the cart. Almost done, almost done. Warm. I'm doing an extra rinse on this bedding. Yes, 303. 310. Perfect. All right, we have 40 minutes until those are done washing the clothes. Okay, let's go see what the doctor says about Jordan. Where'd you go? Come in. Okay, we're gonna wait in the hallway. Oh, I think she's right there waiting for us. Hi. 
We're waiting. He has pink eye. We're waiting to see if he also has strep. Hopefully not. Good news, no strep. So, we, I'll just keep sanitizing the house and hopefully we can keep the pink eye contained. I am gonna go get my new guilty pleasure. I'll show you. Thank you for choosing Panera. This is Matt speaking. Do you have a My Panera reward account for us? Uh, no. All right. What can I get for you today? Hi. Could I please get a strawberry lemon uh, charged large lemonade, please? That was a tongue twister. Uh, and then the kids mac and cheese with a baguette and um, a regular lemonade, please. All right. Anything else? Nope. Oh, it's on the 16th, Thanks. 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 My new favorite thing is these lemonades, these flavored lemonades with caffeine in them. Do you need a drink tray? No, I'm okay. said no, I'm sorry. I... Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> you do what you feel like doing. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. All right. Charged up. So good. It's strawberry... Strawberry lemon mint. All right, Jordan got some mac and cheese. He's gonna eat that while I go switch the laundry real quick. We gotta get home. We're gonna get free to horseback riding. Busy, busy, busy. pharmacy is right here by the doctor's office, by the laundromat. So I got to get his eye drops so we can get him on the eye drops. He does not want to miss his basketball, excuse me, basketball game on Saturday. So hopefully he's feeling up for it. He'll be on eye drops for... It's, it's like the lemonade is kind of good. It's like fresh squeezed lemonade. Yeah, it's like real lemonade. Not like sugary, fake Turkey. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna check the temperature. So that is done. I'm gonna turn this to keep warm while we go to horseback riding. these because I have no time to make homemade mashed potatoes right now. I'm going to throw these in a small crock pot and then while we're at horseback riding they will warm up and then when we get back it'll be bada bing bada boom. Dinner's ready. This is why Thursday night is crock pot night. Seriously these mashed potatoes are so good though. Take Brita horseback riding. And then pick up 
pick up Patrick from Nordics. Yes. Shoot. Yeah, I'll grab some on the way back. All right, can you just like stir this a couple times, please? Yeah. Thank you. Like it's warming up now, and then if you think of it, like whenever you walk in the kitchen, you just give it a stir. Thank you. Um, you guys will probably be one, right? Better than none. All right. Breezy D is going in for horseback riding. Uh, dropped Nevea off at the gym. Dropped Bree off to get ready for horseback riding. It takes them like 20 minutes because they do grooming and tack. So... I'm gonna go grab Patrick from Nordic, drop him off at the house, and then come back to watch. Like, I'll get back right as she's getting ready to ride. I feel like I've done today's drive around. That's pretty much all I do every day. Every day. This is, well, there's a tree blocking it right now, but this is the sunset from the barn. All right, just picked up Patrick. He's telling me about the route they skied today. All right, tell me that. So the ice was so, no how, so today, the ice was not, it was not good snow. Oh. It was ice, the ice, the top of the ice, it was hard to ski. So we did, well, we didn't get to ski today. It was fun. Slippery? No. Oh. Hard to go. They saw, saw us packing snow. Oh. Yeah, that And we need flat snow, not packing snow. Gotcha. But we still ski no matter what. You went like up on the hill? Yes. My 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 one of the shocker goals feels nice. My now I'm gonna do when I get older? What? I'm gonna do Nordic skiing. Nice. Or maybe baseball. Like be I'm choosing now I'm choosing baseball or Nordic skiing or downhill skiing. Oh, speaking of baseball, were you gonna do Challenger baseball this year? Because I've decided you up if you are. For what? For low leagues? Uh, yeah. Both? Are you going to do that and school baseball? Yeah, I'll do both. If I, Mom, I need something to do key down and make the team. True. Plus, the other one's on Sundays, so. Okay. <laughs> on the road again. Going to horseback riding. Okay, I got Brie dropped off at home. I am ran out here to the pharmacy as fast as I could go before they closed to get Jordan's eye drops so we can get those in him tonight so that, yeah, he should get enough doses in him. Oh my gosh, I hope he feels well enough to go to Brie's birthday party tomorrow, but now that I'm thinking of it, I don't know if he will. That'll be really sad, but actually, uh, we'll see. That's, that's something I'm gonna worry about tomorrow because I've had enough to worry about today. I'm gonna grab Jordan's ear, eye drops. Did I say ear drops? Eye drops. And then I'm going to get the clothes from the dryer at the laundromat. I know they've been sitting there forever. Thankfully the laundromat was not busy and thankfully uh, this laundromat is like heavily secured with cameras and a worker so on the rare occasion where I can't get back there right away, I know no one's going to take my clothes, so. Yeah. Okay, let's unload. Okay, we're loaded. Let's go.
Josh is on a Zoom call, sorry. Um, I'm gonna take the turkey out and strain the broth and then boil the broth with the flour. And it's like discard the bacon, so I gotta discard the bacon too. There's no crying baby in the house. Josh is on a Zoom with a crying baby. No, you're fine. All right, so it said to discard the bacon. a strainer into a pot to get the broth. What is the least messiest way to do this? Jumps are a our broth, we're gonna thicken it up. Two teaspoons, two, four, six, eight, ten teaspoons of this. Okay, dinner is done. Five turkey breasts, gravy, veggies, and mashed potatoes. And Alex's teeth hurt from his braces being adjusted today, so I ordered him some smoothies. <laughs> what is that dance move? <laughs> <laughs> This is cherry ice cream and cherry 7-Up. And I'm gonna put a, wherever it is, mallow kebab. All right, ready? Let's go. This ice cream looks so good. It just like doesn't fit in these cups perfectly though. It's gonna be a good float. Okay. 
And I have a little bit more ice cream. There we go. Where's my cloth? All right, here we go. Ooh, don't overflow. Oh god. And a mellow cabal. Chippy cha-cha, this is a mess, but it's gonna be delicious. Cherry ice cream is delicious. Yeah, cherry ice cream and cherry soda. Yeah, mom, they're turning around. Out of the other ones on the floats, like every week. I was going to fold laundry tonight. That's not going to happen. We'll do it tomorrow. It'll still be there. Thank you for spending the day with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.